The Volumes of Truth, Volume 2. Do not be tempted by the world, for its ways lead only to blasphemy and sin. November 25, 2005. From the Lord, our God and Savior. The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy, for all those who have ears to hear. This question was asked of the Lord, for several family members. Lord, may we still give gifts to our loved ones, as long as it doesn't take place on 25 December, and if we do not call it Christmas. Thus says the Lord of heaven and earth. In these things of sin, which are altogether an abomination before the Lord. Take no part. Make no compromise. Nor attempt to go round about. Be completely separate. Turn your back on all these commandments of men, which pollute my name, and my glory. Stop drinking from these polluted fountains. For I hate all these filthy traditions. I loathe the sight of them. They are corrupt. Evil works and adulteries. Harlotries, passed down from generation to generation. Idolatries of every kind. Says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, to all those who say they love me, yet do not remain in my love. Do you really know me? And if you long to know me as I truly am, then let go of this world, and forsake its evil ways. Come out from among them, and be separate. Take no part in that which is unclean, and I will receive you. Yet I hear you saying, But I do these things, with a pure heart. The Lord will understand, for I do these things, out of love. Yes. All things born of love are good, and well-pleasing to the Lord. For I know your hearts beloved, even to your innermost desires, and intentions. Yet those who love me, obey my commands, and give heed to the leading of my spirit. For the two are in agreement. It is written. God, is love. And if I am love, then obey me as I have loved you. Remember my decrees, and obey my commandments. Reveal to every onlooker, that I am indeed your first love. And I alone, deserve your worship. Thus says the Risen One. Therefore, no more give your love or attention to the things of this world. For they are passing away. Neither shall you love anyone more than me. Or have you never read these scriptures? He who loves father or mother, more than me, is not worthy of me and he who loves son or daughter, more than me, is not worthy of me. And friendship with the world, is enmity with God. Therefore honor me in spirit, and in truth, in accordance with the Scriptures. Stand apart from the ways of this world, and cast away those things which pollute my name, and my glory. Crucify your lives of old, and follow me. Beloved ones, the Scriptures, are not malleable. The commandments, do not change. For the truth, is absolute. Forever standing on a hill. Bright, and shining. Immovable. Unbreakable. The everlasting stone, which has become the head of the corner. The great mountain, which fills the whole earth. Says the Lord, 